ever since I released this video. I've seen people discussing just what in the world of Warcraft or who is in that suit. Is it now from Maximum the Hormone? Is it a lost animatronic from Five Nights at Freddy's? Or is it the unholy spirit of <laughs> contained in a cute apple suit. The mystery remains, and in the meantime, we can watch some more Niango Star videos. Hello everyone, my name is John, and I just want to thank you all for supporting me on my first Niango Star video, where I got introduced to this crazy and mysterious character that apparently drums and drums. So the shock factor might not be there anymore, because I expect this when you play deathcore at a kid's concert thing to go sideways really quick, but I still think we can enjoy this, so let's see what this is all about. Oh, and by the way, if you have any more crazy drum videos, let me know down in the comments below. I bet there's tons of them that I haven't seen yet, so I will be more than happy to do more stuff like this on the channel. But right now, let's finally check out when you play Deathcore at a kid's concert. 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> We got subtitles this time around, that's nice. Oh, gotta hate that. <laughs> okay. This is some interesting sheet music over here. Possessed with concerned face. Something like... And I gotta say, this is the most accurate description of getting woken up by your alarm clock. You're sleeping, you're dreaming, it's beautiful and warm. And suddenly... Jeff, let's suffer! Masterful storytelling, 10 out of 10, IGN, let's go! It's a simple beat. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. A little hi hat action in there. Oh my. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. I hear that double blaze action. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, this is more like... I got... Oh, okay, we're getting dense right there. But I gotta say that this part, uh, more than a deathcore part, reminded me of some speed metal. You basically just do 16 notes on the hi-hat and on one and three, you hit the friggin' snare. But what the hell is going on with those feetsy feetsies? Fast! And I gotta see that transition again. Some dancing high action like that. Oh, they're grooving. Priceless transition, I appreciate that. Stuff is amazing. There is still a problem. Oh, you gotta hate that. When you lay down and suddenly it's pee time. I also gotta figure out what the hell is futon? So from speed metal we are going into a more of a dancey groovy section, you know, with eight notes, I believe those are eight notes on the hi-hat, you know, a little slow down, but, you know, opening and closing that hi-hat just makes for that, you know, <laughs> And you know, with this type of beat you can do bass drum hits on all counts of four, or you can just do it on one and three. I personally prefer playing the bass drum on all four counts, but you know, that is about what the song calls for, but I wanted to show you one really cool thing, because right here, watch his hands, its hands, her hands. There we go. You can see that at one point, Niango Star actually uses its other hand to play the hi-hat. You know, sometimes it's good to, you know, give a little bit of rest to your other hi-hat playing hand. So it is really cool, I think, to try and practice, you know, both open-handed playing, that's what it's called, playing hi-hat like this, or, you know, crossed hand playing that you usually see with most drummers, but some drummers, they do play open-handed all the time. Here is an example. This is Gas Lipstick from the band Him. Anyway, moving on. Uh, oh. And 
and I sleep, yeah. There is still a problem with my futon. I wanna get up, but I can't. Oh. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I love that. They just shoved that heavy part in there. Okay, this is uh, kind of the same thing that in the beginning. It's against my will. Getting up too early is against my will. Wait, 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 wait. What is he doing right there? Okay, right here. It's like it's beating itself. Uh, I mean, it looks concerned enough, so... Um, Alright, let's see what fresh hell awaits us now. Okay, a little transition. Oh, it's so warm and fuzzy and nice. That was an aggressive symbol hit. <laughs> oh man. Its feet are like hurricane. Yep. Yeah. Hey, like okay, that's cringe, let's go back. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm smelling, I'm smelling it. Something crazy is gonna happen at the end. I'm just saying it right now. Or maybe I'm just paranoid after the first video that I watched. But let's see for ourselves. Have a simple beat right here again. Okay. You're amazing, getting out of Futon now. There you go, good job. <laughs> okay, this feels more... I feel like the first part of this beat was actually different, because it felt more like a punk drum beat, a single stroke on the bass drum, and then a quick double stroke on the bass drum. It is just very punkish. Oh yeah, if, if we had Stevie T here, it's like... <laughs> but now back to the speed battle thing. Pull on double bait barrage. Okay, here, here's a little bit of a change. Oh my god, just the movement of its hand right here, just watch it, it's so lethargic. <laughs> oh man, gotta love Nyango Star, oh man. Pose. Again, it's staring right at me and I don't appreciate that. If you stare into Nyango's eyes for long enough, it's sad. He stares back. But you will never know. Because I I don't know actually know how to continue this shit. So YouTube just recommended me this video called Nyango Star the Heavy Metal Cat Masco Saving a Japanese Farm and I'm definitely going to watch the whole thing. But from what I see here it says he's appeared in apple flavored yogurt commercials on TV so they are using he. But maybe that is just a red herring to put us off the now from maximum the hormone theory. And you know, some people might say that the previous video that I reacted to, the when you're overqualified for the job one, has a little bit more of, you know, technical playing, more, you know, blast beats, and maybe it's like more impressive, but I still did enjoy this one. I think it was very funny, a very, my, very nice mixture of genres, and still, you know, very surprising and pretty damn realistic lyrics, because who likes waking up in the mornings? Yeah, me neither. 
And I think that this video also shows us that it's not just, you know, about the crazy playing and the crazy switching between the styles, but also about the showmanship, you know, about whatever the hell was Niango doing at the end there, like beating its face with the stick. I'm like, man, don't get all emo here. Maybe that's why Niango has a scar on his face. Mm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy this little video. It's been a while since I've done this, you know, drama reacts thing. So I hope you all enjoy this. And I hope you won't have much trouble getting out of your futon tomorrow morning. Because I know I will have that trouble. And if your morning sucks, then maybe play this song to remind you that you're not alone in this horrific endeavor of waking up in the mornings. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Keep the beat steady and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!